Our ocean's turning into a plastic soup. We're at Ocean Beach in Strawn on the west coast of Tasmania, and here's my regular Aladdin's cave of plastic pollution that I've managed to collect within 50 metres of the car park. But what you see here in front of you is a pretty typical collection of plastic that you find in uh, most beaches uh, and waterways around the country. That's obvious when you're walking on the beach. What's not obvious is these small pieces of plastic, all sorts of different plastic objects. These bits of plastic, when they spend enough time in the sun, photodegrade, and then when they get the mechanical power of waves, breaking them onto beaches, they start becoming brittle and falling to pieces. Eventually, even a piece of plastic this size will become millions of pieces of microplastic. So that's plastic less than half a millimetre, but a lot of it you actually can't see. Now why this is toxic and deadly is that this plastic will be consumed by our marine life. The good news is nearly half this plastic we can cut out going into the ocean by having a proper recycling refund scheme, such as a container deposit scheme. So that means that you get 10 cents for every plastic container that you find, you hand it into a depot, it's no longer rubbish because it's actually got a value, it's worth something, which is exactly what we want. The Greens are going to commit through a CRC, a Cooperative Research Centre, for millions of dollars to be spent on studying what is now the biggest global pollution issue in our oceans. If you don't monitor a pollution problem like this, then it's very hard to manage. We still need to spend a lot more money on understanding the extent of damage that plastic's doing to our marine life and ultimately to our food chain. If you love the oceans, then please give something back that you want. Um, vote green. <laughs>